I'm Don Martin and I'm the Director of Surgical Technology here at Collin College. The Surgical Technology program here at Collin College is an associate's degree program, a two-year degree. Um, basically we teach our students how to go in and help the surgeon one-on-one -on -one, uh, to make things better for the patient, to make things more efficient for the patient, to make things better for the surgeon. Um, today we have a group of med students from the University of North Texas Health Science Center. Uh, we're doing an interdisciplinary program so that our students and their students can learn from each other about what the different challenges are for each group. Um, we hope to help the med students learn something about the operating room uh, so that when they do go start their clinical rotations, they won't be afraid of the operating room, they'll know how to move about the operating room, and they'll be able to learn. Hello, my name is Jackie Langford. I'm the director of the Healthcare Simulation Lab here at uh, Collin College. And uh, basically what we do here in our lab is we have high fidelity mannequins, which means computer operated mannequins, that uh, they breathe, they, uh, their eyes open and close, they talk to us. And what we can do, we can take these mannequins that are lifelike, if you will, and give them different, uh, run them through different scenarios like we can have uh, certain uh, disease processes, uh, trauma, any kind of conditions that we might experience out in the real world, we can uh, uh, simulate those with these mannequins and have our students come in and assess the patients. Today we uh, worked with the, uh, some students from the UNT Health Science Center over at Fort Worth and we gave them a scenario where they took a, uh, a report from the uh, medics out in the field and they were to be the emergency room docs that had to come in and treat their patient. And uh, so once they came in, they treated the patient, they, they assessed the patient, they asked him questions, took history, and uh, he started having symptoms. And so they responded to those symptoms uh, according to what they, uh, what they thought was appropriate uh, for, the, for the setting. And then after the scenario was over with, we took them over into the debriefing room and uh, we recorded the session while they were in here and so when we went to the debriefing room we talked about the scenario and they got to watch themselves on the video uh, to, to see what they did, what they could have done better and uh, basically it's a debriefing tool that helps them to learn even more uh, than what they did here in the, in the uh, simulation room.